Morning guys, so um, I thought I'd do a little video today, <coughs> um, being stuck in isolation and whatnot, you know, seems a good way to pass the time, so I am I need to change the brakes on my uh, 14 Max that we've got here, um, I've never done anything like this before, we're basically going to be following the guides here from this, uh, the Haynes Ford C-Max manual, um, basically I was looking on YouTube and I couldn't find a specific video for changing your brakes on a Ford C-Max. Um, found a lot for Ford Focuses and things like that, but um, nothing for a C-Max. So whether they're all just generic brakes or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I thought we'd do one specifically for a Ford C-Max, um, just see if there's any difference. And if there is, then then hopefully it'll help a few people. But um, So what we've done at the moment is just jack the car up, um, slackened off the bolts. So we'll take these bolts off, we'll get the wheel off, and then um, we'll get into the next part which will be, we'll have to take out the retaining spring, uh, get the caliper off, get the discs, uh, get the pads out, and then we're gonna be changing the discs at the same time as well. So um, right, let me get this wheel off, and then uh, we'll we'll get back to the to the next part, uh, and I'll show you what the caliper and things like that will look like. Okay, so the wheel's now been removed. Um, we've got a little clip here, which we've already removed the bottom one, and then you just pry out the top part as well, like so. That's your retaining clip. Don't use that. You're gonna uh, you're gonna want to pop that back in afterwards. And then you've got uh, this plastic cap here and this plastic cap here. You need to remove both of those. So again, just pop them out with your screwdriver. Like so. Again, don't lose those. You're gonna want to pop them back in afterwards as well. And now, what you're going to want to get yourself, if you don't already own one, is a 7mm brake caliper tool. Um, undo the top bolt, undo the second bolt, which are over here. So, you know, the caps you just took off, take those off. This is going to free up the caliper, and then you'll be able to take out the pads in between and get onto the uh, brake disc as well. So let me get this off and then I'll pop back um, and, and do it. Okay, so removing these bolts was a little bit tricky. Um, there's not much room in there really to work, but you can, it's probably about a quarter of a turn each time. Um, so you do that and then you can just wiggle the caliper free and rest that somewhere so it doesn't fall. And then take your brakes, Sorry. one pad, two pad. Really, again, like I say, I have to measure the thickness of them, but um, yeah, it was definitely grinding a bit when we were braking, so it's good to change them. And that, I mean, that looks a bit grim, so we'll give all this a bit of a scrub. Um, the caliper, anyway, like I say, the disc is getting changed, um, so we'll do that, and then we will. Come back to you once I've got the disc off, I think. Um, well, now I'll show you about these because these are the brackets here. You have to take these off before you can get to the disc. So, um, yeah, I'll get the caliper cleaned up and then I'll take the disc off. Okay, so there we have that. Uh, so that's the, the disc now. There's the mounting bracket for the disc, which attached, you know, on there like that. Um, 13 mil, 13 mil ratchet. We'll get the bolts out of the back of that. Bottom one, I need an extending bar. Um, the my ratchet just didn't fit in there, so the extension bar had to go into that. But you know that's fine. Um, yeah. So what I've read is apparently these, and it feels like it is, can become welded on basically, um, rusted onto this. So I am going to probably go and get a hammer. To be fair give that a bit of a beating. To be honest, the discs don't look too bad, but I've got the discs anyway, I've got a really good deal on them. So um, I'm just gonna put new discs on anyway. Um, we're at this bit. Uh, you know, then I won't have to worry about it for, for a good while. I'm gonna give all of this a clean up. And yeah, once I've got this disc moving, uh, I might come back, film a little bit more, and we can move on to reattaching and putting the new parts on. And I'll show you what to do with that. So there we go, discs off, a um, few sharp hits really with a hammer, just on the open bit that you can get to, got that off. Gonna give all of this now a really good clean, got some brake cleaner, I think that'll do it. 
Got all the clean them. I've also got like some wire brushes which you attach onto your drill. So I'm gonna give that a, a good blast really all around this. Um, try and get it, try and get it a bit cleaner, ready for when the new um, discs and pads can go on. So I'll get to do that. Probably won't film again now um, until I've got the new disc on. Might do a little, um, a little after shot really, just to show you this. But you know, this this video really is just about how to change the brakes and stuff yourself. Obviously, people know how to clean. So um, yeah, I'll see though. I might do it. This probably will be my first upload onto YouTube, so try and make it some good content for you all. Right, okay, so there is the new disc, uh, new pads on, gave the caliper a little bit of a clean up. I know it doesn't look much different, but I'm sure if you compare this to the video just now, uh, to earlier on in this video, sorry, it will look a lot different. So yeah, that was actually relatively simple. Um, I've got to put the spring back on here, the retaining spring back on, and then, Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. The wheel can go back on. Um, I'm going to give the, uh, the the disc obviously a clean. Yeah, and then I think we're good to go. Obviously, once this is done, get inside the car and pump the brake um, until it goes stiff. That just resets the, the piston inside your caliper. Um, so yeah, I'll give this a clean up. I'll get the wheel back on. Um, and then I'm just going to move around the car really and do all the others. Might film the front wheel, um, that's slightly different to the back side, but I won't bother filming the other side obviously for the back wheel. Um, so yeah, after this one I'm going to go and do the, the driver's side the rear. Um, and like I say, I'll pop down the front, I'll change one of those and I will film that for you guys as well. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll film that when I okay, get Okay guys, so... Um, Decided I'm going to leave that video there. So as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but you know, there's a new disc in there, um, new pads on that side. And on this side, again, nice shiny new disc, and we've got new pads in there too. Um, so I've got to put the brake reservoir cap back on. Um, yeah, and I'm going to quickly take it for a test drive, make sure it's all working, working fine. Uh, and then I will record a new video, I think, for the front, for the uh, the two front pads and discs. So yeah, thanks, um, thanks for watching. It's my first video, so sorry, it might be a little bit long, but um, yeah, hopefully we will get a few more of these done in the future. It'll be all sorts of things, um, just general general maintenance bits that I do around the house. So um, yeah, I'll film them all and get them up on YouTube. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.